Hey everybody, this is Coach Rowe and I just want to welcome you to another Tuesday night and I'm just happy to be on the call with you guys tonight and, and listen, I just want to share a couple of things, you know, I just want you to know up front, uh, I'm not a, a life coach, I call myself a lifesaver. You say, what do you mean rolling a lifesaver? See, most people get them, get a, co get a coach to help them change their life or live their life. I help people save their life. And how do we do that? We help do, we help, I help people do that. We help people do that through, uh, getting a proper wellness, changing their, their, their healthy, having a healthier lifestyle, living healthier, eating healthier. And we also do it by helping them, uh, change their mindset. Because here's, here's what I realized. You know, if, if information was all it took, everybody be, would be healthy, happy, and rich. Because there's all kind of information out there. I don't need to give you that information. You can just go out there and look for it. But the difference is we have to apply that information and we have to, we have to work on it day in and day out. And it doesn't happen overnight. See, changing the way you eat, changing the way you live your life, changing, going from an unhealthy lifestyle to a, to a wellness lifestyle, it, it has to become a habit and it takes work and we have to do it day in and day out. And it's not always easy because success doesn't happen overnight. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine, John, last week, and, you know, we we're just talking about uh, life and stuff. And, you know, he knows I'm from Boston originally. And he said, I used to live in Boston for years when I was younger. And I said, really, what did you do up there? And he, and he said, I, I worked. I, I had a, a, my profession. And I said, what did you do? And he said, I was a, a professional ballet dancer. And I was amazed by that because number one is I never expected him to say that. And number two is I never met a professional ballet dancer before. So we started talking. I, I, I should share with me a little bit about that. Tell me what it takes to become successful. Tell me what it takes to become a professional ballet dancer. And he was on some of the biggest stages, not just in Boston, but around the whole country. You know, so he started to tell me, he said, listen, I got, I had to work out an hour and a half a day. I said, that's it? Only an hour and a half a day? Six days a week? I said, that's not too bad to be a ballet dancer. He said, uh, uh, he said, no, no, Roland. That was, that was, work out that was like the stretch and to maybe do a little weight lifting and and some some body training and and then practice the move the throws that we were going to do he said and then i had to practice another seven hours a day six days a week on the routine see so listen to what he said that applies to what we're trying to do that applies to us trying to live a healthier lifestyle to make some to make some changes he didn't say i just became a professional ballet dancer and started dancing he said no he, he had to practice for an hour and a half a day and then rehearse for another, another seven hours a day. And that goes the same for us when we're trying to, you know, maybe drink more water or become healthier or, or, or change some habits. Because, see, we don't predict that our actions don't predict our future. Our habits do because our habits predict our actions. So it's really our habits. And if we have bad eating habits and we have bad habits on taking care of ourselves, that we can kind of predict what our future is going to be like. There's no guarantee but we have a good idea based on results of things that have happened in the past. So that's the first thing you have to do. You have to practice for an hour and a half a day and then rehearse seven hours a day. Now listen to what that is. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Seven hours a day. So they're up to eight and a half hours a day, six days a week. Now here's the good part. We have to change our habits. We have to get into practicing that routine of, of getting up. Now, one thing I learned today is, uh, not today, I've learned this before, but it refreshed my memory today, is you shouldn't go back to sleep once you wake up in the morning if you know you're going to be getting up in a half hour of, of 45 minutes because our sleep patterns are 75 minutes. So you, you should get up right away. So that's like a habit that some of us have to change. That's a, a lifestyle habit. And it's not going to happen overnight. you got to put in the work. The other thing we got to do is we got to put in the work of, of drinking water every day. Start your morning with a glass of water. You know, so that's another habit that we have to create. Just like it took him eight and a half hours a day. Thank goodness it, we don't have to do all this stuff eight and a half hours a day. We only have to do it a few times a day, but we have to do it consistently. You know, having a healthy breakfast, whether it's a healthy shake or, or, or you know, a healthy meal, something. We have to do something to get our bodies going. Like he had to do something to get his body going in the morning because he never would have made it throughout the day. Because here's what I found out. A three-hour ballet routine is equal to running a 28, uh, a full marathon. Not jogging it, 
running a 28 ma- a 28 mile a full marathon whatever that is a little over 26 miles so he had, they had to put in so much effort so that was another part the the nutrition part was another avenue that they had to practice every day so they had to do this day in and day out and I want you guys to think about this eight and a half hours a day six days a week to get ready for a show so I said so I'm writing all this stuff down because I love getting this information so I can share it with you guys so I, so I'm, I'm writing it all down I said let me ask you something when it came time to the show, how long was the show? And he said it was three hours. So I wrote down three hours. And then I, I figured out all the math and all that stuff. And this is what it came out to. And this is such an important point for us. If we want to make some changes in our life, if we want to become healthier, this is what he said. This is what I figured out. He would have to practice and train 170 hours to do a three-hour show. Let me, let me say that again for you guys. 170 hours of practice and training for a three-hour show. So so we have to look at our life sometimes. We have to look at, listen, is it worth, it, it, do, are we willing to put in the time? Are we willing to, to put in the practice? Are we, are, we, are we willing to create the habits? Because guess what he was practicing seven and a half hours, seven hours a day when they were rehearsing all the routine? The habit. And he said not only did he know what he was going to do every single move, he knew what everybody else was going to do and everybody else knew what everybody else was going to do. But it's because he created the habit. It's because he put in the work. It's because he was willing to put in the time until it became second nature in, in his subconscious mind. You know, and, and I think that's what we have to realize is we have to, we have to realize that we have to make small changes, but we have to do them consistently even when we don't want to do them. I asked him, did you love going to practice every day? Some days I hated it. What made you keep going, John? What made me keep going was the result, was, was packing a house full of people and then clapping for them at the end because they created, they did a flawless routine. And not only did it give them much joy, but it also gave the dancers much joy because the rehearsal and the practice was worth it. And that's what I want to tell you guys is we have to be consistent. We can't be on again and off again and on again and off again and on. That's just the habits that we're creating. We have to be consistent day in and day out. And we have to do it over and over and over again until we get the results we want. And guess what? When you get the results you want, you're not going to want to change because you're going to feel so good. And I just spoke to John today and, and you know, I told him I was going to share his story. And, and I asked him how long he did it. He did it for over eight years. And the only reason why he start, stopped was because it was so strenuous. It was starting to take a toll on his body. And then I said, is there anything else you can tell me? He said, yeah, Roland. I had to study it for seven years before I could start practicing. And we don't have to do that. See, we're fortunate. All we're doing is trying to change out. Listen, he was doing it to please others. We have to do it to please ourselves. This is the time to be selfish, to take care of yourselves, to, to focus on your health, to focus on your well-being, to focus on your mindset. Because if you can focus on these things, not only is your life going to be better, not only are you going to be able to overcome challenges and obstacles that come in your, in your everyday living, but your, your quality of life is going to be better for your, for your kids, for your husband, for your wife, for your grandchildren. Your quality of life is going to be better for them, and, and we owe them that. So listen, I know some of you guys, I know, uh, but but I'm committed to doing this. I'm committed to helping you go through the practice and getting focused and having a coach because he also had a coach to keep him on track, to tell him, listen, keep going when you don't feel like going. You got to be here. You got to practice. You got to put in the time. And a lot of us, that's what we're missing. We're missing somebody that can help us accountable, not telling us what we want to hear, but telling us what we want to know. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm committed to doing it. I love doing it. I love changing people's lives. I love helping people get healthy. And we com- we created a coaching program, and that's what this is. And we also created a three-day trial program because not everybody knows if they can do it. And not everybody knows if they want to make the commitment. But here's what I want you to know. When you make the commitment, you have to make a commitment to the commitment that you make. So if you look in the link below, we have a, a link for a three-day trial that you guys can try it to see if it's something you want to do. I'll coach you through it for three days and see if you can do it for three days. And listen, you're going to get two meal replacements, the just rated the number one meal replacement shake in the whole entire nutrition industry. You're going to get some tablets to help with some metabolism and stuff, and, you, and you're going to get my coaching. So you're going you're gonna to get yourself off to a healthy lifestyle for at least three days to see if it's something you can do. So listen, 
like my friend John, that was willing to put in the work, that was willing to put in the time, that, so the willing to do 170 hours worth of practice so he could do a three-hour show, so he could change people's lives, so he can give them enjoyment, so he can give them something they hadn't seen before. You're worth three days. You're worth creating a healthy lifestyle for yourself. We can have all the great things in, the, in life. We can have everything, all the material stuff we want, but if we don't have our health, we don't have anything. So listen, click on the link. If it's something you want to do, I'm willing to help you. We're looking for serious people. I'm, I'm a very serious person, as you can see. I do smile, but I'm serious because I want to make a difference in people's lives. I'm committed to it. And I'm going to tell you what I said at the, at the beginning. I'm not a life coach. I'm a lifesaver. See, most people have a coach to help them change their life. I want to help coach people to save their life. And I want to help them save it by focusing on their mindset and their wellness and creating habits that they can carry on over and over again because your habits, not your actions, predict your future. Listen, I'm Coach Rowe. I want to thank you for being on. Focus on yourself. Let's get you started. And we'll talk to you next week. Have a great night and God bless. Thank you.